everyone, in this video, we are going to run multiple linear regression analysis using a JASP software. Remember that the JASP software cannot successfully import, as of this time, an Excel file type. So all you have to do is to save your data set in a .csv format. E. So you click File, Save As, and then pick the right file type for your data. And in this case, it should be in comma-separated values. So the file name for my data set is systolic.csv. So what is the research scenario all about? A researcher believed that age and weight in pounds would probably influence the systolic blood pressure of the patients. So what would be the first question here or your first research question? Your first research question would probably ask on the average age of the patients, the second for the average weight in pounds, and the third would probably ask the average systolic blood pressure reading of the patients. This is the welcome home screen of the JASP software. As you can see, the latest version is JASP 0.14. It is an open source project with structural support from the University of Amsterdam. To begin, let us click these three bars on the left or three lines on the left side of the screen. Click open and then click computer and browse. Remember where did you save your file? So in my case, I saved the file in the downloads. And the file name is systolic.csv and click open. Here you have the age, the weight in pounds, and the systolic blood pressure. So you, we may also change this into scale here. The idea here is to determine whether age and weight in pounds will somehow predict significantly systolic blood pressure readings. Remember your first, second, and third questions is answerable by using a descriptive statistics. And for your fourth question that would ask on if age and weight in pounds would significantly influence systolic blood pressure, you need to run using a linear regression. Remember, this is not a simple regression, be simple linear regression because we, all, we already have two independent or predictor variables. Others call it as exogenous variables and the dependent variable is termed as endogenous or an outcome variable. So in this case, I will click linear regression and then the systolic blood pressure would go into the dependent variable box. Your age and the weight in pounds will go into the covariates. As you can see on screen, we already have the result of the analysis and it's ready for interpretation. So let us interpret the figures one by one. The R value is 0.988 and the R square value is 0.977. So let us first go into the R value. Using our ranges that we used in interpreting Pearson product moment correlation or the magnitude of relationship, the 0.988 value suggests that the relationship between age and weight in pounds to the dependent variable systolic blood pressure reading is very high. Again, our value measures the magnitude of relationship. The question now is how very high is very high? 0.977 or 97.7% in the variation of your dependent variable systolic blood pressure can be attributed to these two independent or predictor variables, age and weight in pounds. The question now is, what about for model fitness? The second table suggests that the relationship between your age and weight in pounds to your dependent variable Systolic blood pressure is statistically significant. For the third table, let us copy this and let's do an interpretation using a sample simulation. So we have here a sample simulation on the result of the coefficients table. Let us first interpret what do you mean by this 0.861 and this 0.335. So this 0.861 and this 0.335 is the unstandardized beta estimates. This is the value or the increase of y in every unit increase in x. 
So we have here the x1 or the independent variable 1 age and the independent variable to weight in pounds. So for age, an age increase is an increase in the systolic blood pressure reading by 0.861. Again, an age increase is an increase in the systolic blood pressure reading by 0.861 holding weight in pounds constant. On the other hand, a pound increase of the patient or of the cases is an increase in the systolic blood pressure reading by 0.335 holding age constant. So for us to fully appreciate these figures, let's do a sample simulation. And by the way, if we are asking if these two independent or predictor variables are statistically significant, the p-value of 0 0.008 and 0 0.034 confirm that these two independent or predictor variables are statistically significant or they influence significantly to our dependent variable systolic blood pressure reading. For us to fully appreciate the result of the analysis, let's do a sample simulation. The Y here is your dependent variable, which is the systolic blood pressure reading. 30.994 is the intercept or the constant. 0.861, this is the unstandardized beta estimate for your independent variable age, and 0.335 for your weight in pounds. Let us do a sample simulation. Suppose that our patient is 50 years old and the weight in pounds is 110, what would be the forecasted systolic blood pressure reading given the sets of figure? 30.994 plus 0.861 times 50 is 43.05 and 0.335 times 110 is 36.85. So 36.85 plus 43.05 plus 30.944 is 110.84 for roughly 110. So for a patient who is 50 years old with 110 weight in pounds has a forecasted systolic blood pressure of 110. Remember, this is a hypothetical data. This is just for the sake of sample simulation using the AJASP software.